Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life. And uh, well, since I have opened up last month, only a month ago, a digital Etsy shop, Lens Crafty Life Digis, um, I've been very busy making digital papers to use in your junk journals or for card making or basically any kind of craft. Some uh, of the images are very pretty. You can even frame them. <laughs> Hang them as decoration in your home. So let me show you these four kits. These are four different kits. Two junk journal kits. This is a card kit made from original vintage cards that I have in my personal collection and this one i have literally only just finished this is from a um an 1890s magazine a french magazine la mode illustre so um you get these in two sizes let me i'll show you this one first i'm so pleased with how it turned out and then i'll show you these three kits and do find links to these kits also below this video so let me show you you get these so these are all um, the original images i have uh how do you say restored them um to give you a better better quality image uh you can even read this it is in french obviously it's a french magazine I can read this. I, I mean, I do have glasses, but I can read this all with a magnifying glass. Of course, you could read this. Now, let me show you these images. They are, so you get them in two sizes. They are printable on US letter size uh, paper. So the 11 by eight and a half inch, and you can print them on A4. These are printed on A4. Um, so these are the pages in order of this magazine so these of course you can print them front to back and somehow attach them and you have like the whole magazine together i've already done that for you in the smaller size which i'll show you uh, after i've shown you these pages so these of course are also great for fussy cutting lots of images to fussy cut so these are the middle pages so this is actually one big picture which you'll find together in the smaller size um, but of course you know you can in this size you can put them together as well so maybe actually i'll add that hmm i think i'll add that to my listing as a bonus that middle that's that's a good a good idea thank you yes i will do that <laughs> it's a bonus freebie so there's lots of text in there as well there's like a puzzles are in there of course there's like you can you know fussy cut even this um this is like something that you have to solve there was in this magazine an extra supplement of four pages so you get these as well with the original stains isn't that wonderful yes it is i love it <laughs> i love all the original you know staining i you know i i didn't do that that's all original even here there so there's one page this was the back of the supplement with beautiful really gorgeous oh sorry hit my camera it happens more often um really gorgeous um antique not even vintage but antique ads so those are great to cut out individually as ephemera as tuck spots or to make clusters with for your junk journal so here we go on to the smaller size so these are included and i have printed them in the correct order to make this little booklet now let me show you the little booklet first i'll pop these aside so you can see it better so this is you know when you print them front to back and i'll show you but when you print them front to back you have the original magazine in the pages in the correct order so this is exactly what it was this is the supplement so these are the middle pages here you have the middle image as one image so this is what it looked like and then the supplement was in the middle and it had some uh, a story some text more images more um ads in there and uh here as well the full page with the ads so this is the way the magazine looked now officially it's 
a very large magazine. Hmm, should have had it here, shouldn't I? Anyway, next time. So let me show you. When you get this kit, you can, this is page one, you print, this is page two, you print page two on the back of page one. You print, this is page three, this is page four, you print page four on the back of page three. This is page five, the supplement. This is page six, the inside of the supplement. You print page five on the or six, sorry, on six on the back of page five. So then you put page five facing you. This is page three facing you and page one facing you. Now, of course, don't completely, they're separate, but that's what you do when you've printed it back to back. I should actually, I can show you here. So this is page one and this is page two. You see, printed on the back. So I've done that. So then you have page five facing you, page three facing you, page one facing you. You've cut them out and you just fold them. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to put a staple in it because the original was not with a staple. I'm not sure if they even had staples back then in 1890. But these were just loose pages together. So I'm absolutely delighted with how this uh, turned out. I think it's so super cute. Don't you think so? It's so super cute. So you can add these, of course, um, as pages, like separately in your junk journal. Or you can make the little magazine and add that in your journal. Which is also beautiful, beautiful addition. Absolutely love it. So anyway, let's... Get on to the next kit that I want to show you. That's, oh, yeah. Um, by the way, this one is called the um, eight, uh, 1890 La Mode Illustre kit. And link below this video. This is a set of three kits that go together. So you have the junk journal pages. You have the add-on kit and you have the card kit. These are all called um, Blossom Butterfly. So let me show you the card kit. That's this one. So you have eight cards and you have the same cards also in a smaller size. So that is the card kit. Then you have, let me show you the journal pages first actually. And the add-ons make more sense, don't they? Okay, the journal pages. So these are 16 journal pages with these beautiful romantic images with butterflies, blo cherry blossom, beautiful ladies, and also beautiful kind of like watercolor background with cottages. You can just about see it. So these you can also print, of course, front to back. There's lots of writing space. Now, some images are lighter. This one I particularly like. So this is a brighter image. But the lighter pages like this is very easy to write on or to add pockets to and tuck spots, ephemera. So beautiful images. Gorgeous house here. I'm, I'm really, really, really love this kit. Beautiful romantic ladies. And the butterflies are also so pretty. Again, beautiful house here on the back. And this one, there are two pages that are lined. So you can just about see that. So for easy writing, this is the second page. And these have like, you know, this is almost like, like writing paper. And uh, like for letter writing paper. You know, I'm old, <laughs> 50 plus. We used to write letters back then. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go this again is kind of like a faded image so you can easily write over it with the cherry blossom the lady this is from um, an original french postcard that i have in my stash and uh, a beautiful butterfly over that this again the background is from another original card that i have but i added the beautiful lady some more blossom this one again is a page which is brighter because I, I love this this is so romantic beautiful here you've got the blossom on the left four butterflies on the right lots of writing space 
again and here too so and then you have the add-on kit so this is like a, a belly band or a bookmark you can put it up like that or like so image of the beautiful house three large tags and these are circles with beautiful images so you can make cards out of those or took spots little tags with lots of the pretty images and some French script. These can be used, you know, either as as like half, like like so, like little little booklets you can make out out of these, or you can of course use them to make large pockets out of as well. And then there's this one kind of envelope. You can either make an envelope out of this by putting a bit of, of glue just over there and there and sticking it together or keep it open as a folio and again there's a little bookmark or you know a belly band that you can make out of those butterflies so that's kit two out of the four kits we put this aside then i'll show you the original postcards that I scanned again, I um, uh, restored them, but these are the original colors. I did not change the colors on these. And these are just very romantic. These were handmade cards. So these all, you know, I should have had them here. Hmm. Not sure where I left them now. Um, too much stuff here in my room. Sorry about that. I'll be better prepared next time. So this is all original, um, real ribbon that they used and lace and i also put them in in sepia color so a bit vintagey brown so here obviously i did change the color for you because you know these these colors may not always go in the theme of your journal or any other creation that you make but these might go in better sometimes now this card was also made, all made by hand, and it had this beautiful shape with this ribbon going from top to bottom. There's even K, and I think that's a, what, what, a G, a K and a G. Kate and Jerry. Those are Kate and Jerry, they love each other. <laughs> so these are all beautiful images. Again, in the sepia vintage tones, I put it in. And here you've got them all in a smaller size as well and in the vintage brown the sepia tones and um, again a link to these below this video and then lastly i want to show you this kit and this one is called my pretty dress so there's lots of dresses this is more like vintage looking beautiful roses on here Lots of roses and dresses. It's just a rose page, just gorgeous. So the tones are in this one are more like the vintage, vintage brownish color and then the red of the roses, but also some softer kind of almost like peachy pink flowers that are used on the dresses and some um, original I think it's French, yeah, French um, ephemera is used in here. Some writing space, some lines, some more lines. This is some grit on here I used. Again, these are faded. There's two pages that are a bit more faded, so you can actually write over these images if you like. This again, a faded page. Then we have the add-on kit. So again, these are three different kits. Some people just like the ephemera or the cards. So these are lots of little tags that you can use. These again are folios or little booklets that you can cut out, fold in half like so. And here the image is like so. Some tabs again to fold, to cut out and fold in half. These are pockets these go like so and these go like so and an envelope 
and then this is uh, lastly the card kit and with the card kit so the four cards you get three large tags so i hope you like these kits please check them out in uh, and also all the other kits there's loads of kits in my shop already and pretty much i try to bring new uh, kits um, in there new ephemera new uh, junk journals uh, pages new originals like um, original files like i just show you from the uh, the la mode illustre i put in there and i try to keep it up to put something new in there every week um, so please do check it out and follow if you like what you see there and um, thanks so much thanks so much for watching as well and have a great day bye bye